general knowledge and skills test consists of three parts. The first part being the Dutch language and communication skills. This part covers two elements. The first element, summarizing an article and giving a short presentation. The second element, holding an interview, a role play and writing a report. Part two of the test covers the English reading skills. And finally, part three covers the general knowledge of the Dutch healthcare system. In order to pass the language and communication skills test, you should master the Dutch language at at least B2 plus to C1 level. Please remember that this level is higher than at the national exam for the Dutch language. In order to pass the English reading skills test, you should master the English language at at least B2 plus level to C1 level. This equals an IELTS score of 6.5 or a TOEFL score of 600. To prepare yourself for the Dutch language and communication skills test, you can take a Dutch language course, a general language course at B2 plus level, you can also take a special skills course, focusing on skills such as presenting and holding interviews, or you could follow a special preparatory course for the exam. To prepare yourself for the English reading skills test, you could either take a general English course with a focus on reading skills, or you could study and read a special course book for the highest level of secondary school in the Netherlands, VWO. To prepare yourself for the test on the general knowledge of the Dutch healthcare system, we recommend you to thoroughly read and study the following book. Volksgezondheid en Gezondheidszorg, Mackenbach. To prepare yourself for the assessment, we strongly recommend you to go for so-called full immersion, so that you try to speak, read, write, and listen to Dutch as much as you can. Secondly, we recommend you to take either a general language course or a specific skills course, or you could take a preparatory course for one of the exams. Also, you could try and arrange an unpaid internship uh, to see and observe how professionals work in the field of public health. And lastly, make sure that before you start with the assessment, you've already reached a level of Dutch at at least B2 plus to C1 level. 